007 of Plainfield, New Jersey. So, wow, I am happily surprised by this trailer. Uh, as some of you know, I've been very worried about Die Hard 5 because I thought Die Hard 4 kind of jumped the shark when he infamously grabbed onto the end of the um, fighter jet. Uh, when John McClane grabbed onto that, it was kind of like Indiana Jones uh, nuking the fridge uh, with that franchise. But it looks like it might be delightfully back on track. Uh, first of all, really looks like a well-produced film. And then it brought it all home at the end with that great one-liner from John McClane where he says he's a 007 of New Jersey. And like in a self-mocking, joking way. So it's just like classic John McClane. He just slipped right back into that role. It's so cool to see. Uh, and also I was really happy that the trailer didn't focus too much on his son who's supposed to be his partner in the movie, that guy he's running around with all the time. That's his son. Uh, I still wish he didn't have a kid. If he would be cut out of the entire movie, I would be thrilled. But uh, maybe they'll find a way to make it work. Uh, the Russian setting, he looks like, also looks like he has a cool new bad guy uh, in, in the style, in, in the great, the grand tradition of Hans Gruber, uh, Jeremy Irons to some degree in the third film. In the second film, you know, they kind of lack a little bit in the villain. In the fourth film, Timothy Oliphant, you know, he did his best, but uh, he, he's no Hans Gruber. But, you know, this, I think I like some of the scenes here with the excess um, in, in Russia uh, or the uh, East, the Eastern Europe. I think it takes place in Russia, uh, but also I, I'm I really really like the quality of the action of the action sequences. As I said, uh, it's set to this music, which I think also this classical music, which I think also works with Die Hard, kind of in a fun way. It reminds me a little bit of the um, when he's in the skyscraper in the first one, and also just if you pay attention to the way the action scenes are set off. Uh, it's really impressive the way the cars are exploding really quickly and very precisely. You can see that kind of the detail of it. It's not just like an explosion from far away. Use your imagination. Uh, a lot of explosions just in the trailer. Michael Bay, watch out. You're not the only one who can explode stuff. Uh, it's It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like good traditional non-CGI action, which is what John McClane and the Die Hard franchise is supposed to be all about. I hope it doesn't jump on any uh, fighter planes. So what do you think? Does Die Hard 5 look like a return to form to you? Do you think it, the franchise never left its form? Have you been a Die Hard fan all along? Uh, write your thoughts down below uh, about this teaser trailer. And also, I hope you'll check out uh, the episode I did detailing the history of the Die Hard franchise. As always, thanks for coming to be on the trailer, not just to watch the latest trailers, but to get these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.